Hi, I am Amelie Schaefer with Systematic Excellence Consulting and ClickUp Mastery. And today I'm going to go over um, a social media calendar and how to create that in ClickUp. So I actually started with a social media um, calendar template that ClickUp provides. Um, so I'll show you how to do that really quickly, um, how you would need to add that. So it's actually a folder. So all I did is I went to the plus sign, I went to new folder, and I clicked on templates. And if you scroll down through the folders, there are social media posts and I can just click on that. Say I want to use template. I can also add it to my, my library um, and it tells you what the different pieces are, um, the different status groups, the custom fields and um, view types. So you just click on use template. You can import everything or customize what you're going to import. Um, social, I'm just going to call this social media close one since I already did this and then you can import or remap due dates um, if you wanted to remap due dates you could um, click on a start date so if like today's the start date I'm sorry next Monday is the start date um, there let's see oh they don't have start and end dates on this so you could just put the um, the start date, but on the template, there's no end dates. It's just due date. So, um, and then we can import all tasks as open. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I'm just going to kind of let it be how it is. And then I'm not going to archive or I'm not going to import the archive tasks. So I'll just say use template and it's going to populate that. Now I took their template and made some changes to it. Um, so the basic flow that um, I have here is ideas at the top then for the statuses ideas to do meaning they are ready to have action taken on them created the image created those kinds of things ready for review um, in progress and scheduled and I actually now that I'm looking at it oh it opened it up for me so this is you can actually see this is what the this is what the actual template looked like. And I'll explain why I made some of the changes. So for the actual template, it has open concept in progress, running review. Um, but for me, I like to have ideas and then to do to let myself and my team know that this is something that needs to have action taken on it in progress is when they're creating it. Um, I think that review should go before running. So it needs to be reviewed before it goes out. And then if you need an additional review before or after it's gone out, you can have a, um, another status there. I also changed the links that they had. So instead of a link to the platform, I put what we call the asset folder link, is, which is where we save the copy and the um, images for, uh, for the post. Um, so that might be a Google folder um, a Google folder link. And then, um, the other link, you could pull the links for each of your posts. If you wanted to, I just decided not to do that. I actually changed it and I'll show that in a minute. I changed it to, um, call to action link. So if there's a specific call to action, maybe you're promoting something, I would put that link there just to make it easier for people to find. So I'm going to go back over to the one I created here or updated actually. Um, and, uh, just show, so here I have the asset folder, then the call to action link. And I do like how they have the channels. So you can choose the different channels. You can choose the categories of what you want for, um, you know, for each of these. Now, what I also did is I added subtasks to these. So this is obviously really simple. I just put copy and design. And all I did to do that is just click on the, um, little, uh, icon there and I just typed copy design then we can do that for all of them there we go okay there it added it okay so then what I'm so where I'm starting is in the beginning so this might be your planning you're, you're getting ready to plan for your social media for January and so that's gonna, um, oops. 
Okay. And as you're planning for it, then you're also going to want to figure out what platforms you're going to be posting on, what days of the week. So I put the due date of this as the date that the post will go out. And then what you can do is change the due date of when these are due. So if this is going to go out on January 7th, um, the copy needs to be due by Monday the 20th, let's say, and the images need to be due by Wednesday. And maybe all of them are that. So if you're, or the same date, maybe you're going to bulk uh, your content. And then if you want to quickly add the, um, you can click on the different categories and add them so that they're also on the subtasks. Now, if you're not bulking content, then you'd want to put due dates for the subtasks as to when those things are due. And then the flow of it is going to be, oh, I didn't add them here, is, okay, once I've decided, okay, I love all of these ideas, and um, so I'm going to select all, and then I'm going to actually move them all down to to-do. And then once I do that, now I'm going to make sure that this is where I start to assign things. So maybe this is assigned to me. This is our test account. So it's actually, I'm the only one that's on here. Um, and then maybe it's to my team members who do this part of it. And then when it's ready for review. So once, let's say, you know, the team member is going to work on this one, they're going to move it to... Oh, I need to change these statuses around. Let me change that. So I just go here. I want to change it so that review comes after in progress. Go ahead and hit save on that. And then let's say the team is getting ready to work on, you know, these four. Then they'll move it to in progress as they're working on it. And we can move the subtasks to in progress as well. And then, you know, that's something that we put in our standard operating procedure that when they start working on it, they need to move it to in progress. So we know that, that they are, you know, that we know that they're working on, here we go in progress. Okay. Um, so we know that they're starting to work on these pieces of, of content or the deliverables. And then once they are ready for us to review them, then they would just move it to review. So we'll just highlight these again. We'll go ahead and move it to review. So then we get a chance to review them, give them approval. Yes, this looks good. And you can go ahead and schedule it. And then it gets scheduled for the due date that we put here. So then those would get, once they're scheduled, we'll go ahead and put them to scheduled. And we have, I have scheduled set as a done task, meaning um, it's, it won't be considered overdue if it comes to those dates, um, but it will unblock any dependencies you have. Um, instead of it being an active task, it's done. It's not closed. It's still there, but it's not showing overdue. So I'll just go ahead and hit scheduled. So now you can see that it's showing done. So if it did have any dependencies, it would unlock them, but it's not going to show the main task is overdue. Um, so that's the basic sort of process of that. And then once they've gone out, then it can go to closed. Um, and then as far as the copy and images, if you want to use the task as the place to save the copy and images, that's totally fine. And maybe um, you use a doc for the copy, you know, maybe you create a doc. Because it didn't want to do it. Oh, there we go. It's just taking a minute. Okay. And so maybe this is this, we call this Janu oh. January social post or something like that, you know, and then you could have them either break it down by date, break it down by platform, break it down by category, and you can have all of your social posts in the same document. And then, um, either you can, attach it to the list, or you can uh, make sure that the link is in all of, so if we want to share this, I can just grab, oops, grab the link. 
So now this document is attached to, whoops, it created to, um, this particular task. Um, but if we wanted to put it in the other ones, you know, we could come over here and we could just put um, the doc, put the link to the doc bookmark or whatever and I'll put the the link there for the doc um, or we could create a doc here and this could be the social posts copy and then you could break it down by month so maybe oh, let's delete this one so maybe we have an embedded where it's, you know, the by month. So maybe this is January's. Uh, what do you call this? January posts. And then you could put the different date, you know, if it's one, seven, right? So this would be the post and then you'd have your copy. And then you could put the link to the image from um, Google Drive. So if you save the images on Google Drive, you could put the link to there. So then it would all be in the same place um, and accessible to the person that's working on the copy for that. Now, one other thing that I really like that they did is they put a second list here and they did it by channel. So you can then see the tasks organized by channel and see kind of where they are in the pro uh, in process and what dates you're going to be posting on. And then we can take it a step further and we can actually look at the calendar view, which I really like. So if we go to January, then we can actually see, okay, what's going on? What posts do we have? What platforms are we posting on each day? Um, what categories are we using? And the way that I got these to show is I go to settings. And if you go down to the bottom, you can click on the custom fields and you can unselect or select whichever custom fields you want to see. So we could put the asset folder here or not. And you can remove these things if you don't want them. So then it's just going to show um, your channels and your categories. So this starts to kind of let you see, okay, what does the whole month look like? How many posts are we doing? Do we need to put some more in here? Do we need to do some different categories? Or maybe we're missing a channel or something like that. Um, and so you can, you can also kind of look at it that way. And one last piece to the, um, list over here is you can also set up an automation that when a task is moved to review, it will assign it to someone else. So for example, if I wanted it to be assigned to me when it's ready for review so that I know my team's done then I can set up an automation to do that. And we would just go over here. We would say when status changes and it could be from, let's do any active to, and we want to select ready for review. And I want to change the assignee to me. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and create and so then when I take this, so let's say this one's done, I'm going to go put it to review. If the end, the automation worked, it's setting, it's made it um, assigned to me so that I know that it's due. Now, the only thing about this is that it won't show up because we put the due date as the day it needs to be scheduled for. You could create a separate um, custom field for a date of like date public, you know, the date it'll be published. You could create that and have it as a separate date and change the due date depending on when um, the deliverables are due or when you want to review it by or when it needs to be scheduled by instead of the day it's going to be published. So you could kind of change it that way as well. Um, so this is the kind of overall um, process of the social media calendar in ClickUp. And then you can always continue to add ideas here. And then maybe you sit down once a month or once a quarter to go over, okay, what are we posting? What are we um, promoting during the month? And then work out all of your um, your topics and, and I'm sorry, your categories and channels then. And then also you can move through different views. So you can look at it in the board view if you prefer that view. 
Um, you can look at it again in the schedule or the calendar view, which like I said, I really like to be able to see, okay, what do we have going on? What are we posting? What channel are we on um, each day of the week? Um, and then the last thing is I pulled up um, Zapier to show some different um, automations that are available. So I just picked one like Loomly. It allows you to do a couple of different posts. I don't have a Loomly account, but I just wanted to show what's possible um, as far as um, automation. So Content Cal, if that's something you use, it does offer two different kinds of posting. If uh, you use Hootsuite, it also offers to schedule a mes message. And again, I don't have um, I don't have accounts to these things, but I just wanted to show you, you could create some automations that pull information from ClickUp and, and schedule them automatically on different platforms. So there's a lot of different um, automations that are available along with Integrately is another great one, Integromat. Um, they all provide automations between different softwares. Um, and Zapier is just one, but um, Integrately is another one. And we kind of use, well, I guess we started using Integrately a little bit more than Zapier, but um, they're both available and they also have um, allow you to connect click up to some of your social media schedulers. All right. Well, I hope that was helpful. Again, my name is Amelie Schaefer. I'm with Systematic Excellence consulting and this is the click up mastery youtube channel so thank you so much for watching um, if you have any questions about this put this in the, put it in the comments make sure you subscribe to catch our future videos and um, we produce all of this content for free so if you want to help there is a link to buy us a coffee that will help support the production of this free content all right thank you